Um, so in this European Innovation Partnership project, we're uh, trying to implement a more holistic approach to nutrition planning. Yr o'r sobets o ffermd o fach llan uwchlyn, yn gydwyd o ddedewed yma heddiw gael samplu gwaed. Dwi'n unig ddeg ffermwr sy'n rhan o'r prosiect EIP. Os i'r ddewed yma nôl ym mis Medi, a ni'n destio gwaed a lyfr biopsi ymser ni. A ni'n allu gweld be oedd yr lefelau meithion amser ni. Gwedyn hefyd na ni'n destio glaswellt a'r siluair. Dwi'n bod ni'n gallu adjustio'r diet cyn troi'r hyrddod. We're taking blood to assess the energy and protein levels prior to lambing. Um, we do that about three to four weeks before lambing in order to be able to make any relevant changes to the diet, particularly in order to try and reduce the risk of developing twin lamb disease. Uh, I think it's a good thing to do with the blood. I think it's a good thing to do with the blood. I think it's a good thing to do Yn, yn ffordd o um, uh, medru, uh, mesur uh, uh, trace elements, ond y ffordd mwy a accurate oedd trwy'r er, er iau. Felly, um, bod, dwi falch bod wedi neud o, um, oherwydd um, yn 2018 gallwn ni rha uh, androso sych, a pam bod ni rhoi dyr uh, hyrddod allan i'r, i'r mogiau, um, oedd, oedd i cyflwyr nhw ddim gystal ac oedd o ni wedi rhoi dolawr i'r, i'r tywydd and um, wrth wneud yr er, arbrawd efo, efo jo uh, dwi ffeindio allan bod um, diffyg copr uh, oedd ddim yr er, er problem ond oedd o'n ddim yn helpu chwaith i'r er, er problem a oherwydd um, gallwn ni um, sganio uh, defet uh, sar iawn uh, oedd o'n i bron 100 llai na oedd o'n i fel arfer y gwneud um, Felly wrth wneud yr abro, mae wedi dangos bod ne e, broblem o do ni ddim yn gwybod am. E, felly do ni ddim yn gweld o'n e, mantus da i'r, i'r ffarm a gobeithio helpu efo e, rhedeg y busnes. The results up to now have been quite interesting. We found the ewes coming in uh, for the project in September were quite thin on, in general. And that was reflected in the energy and protein uh, results that we had then and ewes certainly needed um, more food to be able to have tucked well. In terms of trace elements we found quite a variation between farms. Some farms were um, low in some things and other farms were low in other things and, and, and vice versa. Um, even also within farms there was variation between the sheep uh, and that can be um, down to different bits of land they've been grazing but also it, it can be just normal variation with the sheep um, so we take samples from several different sheep in order to try and understand the farm as a whole um, with regard to what farmers are already doing particularly with regard to the trace element part of the project some farms were already um, managing the trace element status of the sheep fairly well. Other farms were giving too much of some things and other farms were giving too little of something. So um, for some farms we've said actually just carry on doing what you're doing and we know that that's working and we've got data to support that. To other farmers we've said well actually you need to stop doing this or to start doing this or to maybe change the timing of, of, of a particular supplement. And that's been quite useful for those farmers moving forward in terms of uh, uh, managing their flocks uh, trace element nutritional status more efficiently.